Well hello there everyone, David Jaheri, Scotsman here once again. Now, this is round three of the UK versus Canada. Uh, my pals of Trips sent me some sweets a while ago and I've got round to trying a few comparisons. This is the Canadian Aero. Nice shiny packet. And the UK one, which is purely chocolate, is in a nice sort of uh, satin matte sort of feel to it. Right. Size wise for the bars, 36 grams UK. And uh, no idea. Oh, here we go. 42 grams for the Canadian. Wow. You got bigger ones than us. 100% sustainable uh, sourced cocoa. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's got some award. Supporting farmers for better chocolate. Peel here. Ew, you don't tell me about a peel, Canada. Peel here. What if I want to peel at the other end? Eh, just tear it open, what the heck. I should have maybe kept these in the fridge, but... I'm out in the conservatory at the moment and let's just say it's a bit warm. So I'm going to open up the pair of these. I'm doing a few videos today all at once. Alright. Canada. UK. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually a difference in colour. Canadian is a lot darker than the UK one. Let's have a try. Okay. Interesting taste. You okay? Mm. That is much the UK one is much smoother. You can see the size of the difference in the bubbles. That's Canada versus UK. They are completely different. Um, the Canadian one, it's, it's really nice, it's nice, I won't say it's not, I'm just going to move the camera forward a bit. It's lovely. But, how can I describe it? The UK one just melts on your tongue more. Um, it's bubbly. It just sort of, it, actually, it just melts on your tongue. Whereas the Canadian one, you've actually put a bit more into it. The Canadian one's also slightly more bitter. Might be a different uh, place that you get your cocoa from, but there's definitely a difference there. But when I was at, that's the two that are the same. But when I was at, I also got the mint flavoured one, peppermint. So it's exactly the same size as the other one. 
Uh, I'm going to give it a wee try as well. Looks the same as well. Just going to bite a wee bit off it. Anything that's that green has to be good. Now, I'm not including this in sort of the Canada versus Britain thing. But that wins. That is, that is so nice. It is so tasty. It's got a lovely minty taste to it. The chocolate on it is creamy. It just works well. Um... Sorry about the banging the next door neighbours trying to open his shed, I think. Um, the minty one, yeah, hands down. But out of the two of them, the two chocolate ones, sorry Canada, um, the UK one absolutely wins. It's, it's actually just so much nicer. That's the only way I can describe it. It's smoother. Uh, it's creamier, uh, there's not that wee bitter aftertaste to it. Would I say no to either of them? Of course not. It's chocolate. <laughs> um, they both do taste nice, but the British one just does have the edge on it, I'm afraid. Sorry, Canada. You know how I love you. But, so far, well... I'm not going to tell you the outright winners, but 3 2. Uh, 2 to 1 out of 3. Um, where I prefer the UK ones. Um, yeah. What can I say? So far, uh, Kit Kat, Canadian Kit Kats, hands down the best. British Mars Bar, British Aero. Sorry guys. Right, I'm going to toddle off. Um, I've got something else to do there, but I'm going to bung it in the fridge for 10 minutes just to uh, chill it down a bit. Cause the heat in this conservatory at the moment is 33 degrees centigrade. Now, for a Scotsman, you can probably tell I'm going a bit pink here. It's just too hot for me. So, I'm going to nip out get some cool air and uh, put the rest of the chocolate in the fridge. I'll talk to you all later. Stay safe out there folks. Take care. See ya.